I'm Mickey. I would like to thank Save Radio for choosing me to be their vlogger of the day. We are going to go on a shopping haul for journaling materials and I'm going to be teaching you guys a few tips and tricks on how to journal for your devotion. So let's go! Okay, so we found the notebook. So it is only 105 pesos and it is the um, minimalist design and inside it's dotted. So I'm going to get this notebook because it's also the perfect size to bring anywhere like in your bag. Make sure you don't get a notebook that's this big because sometimes it could be a hassle um, if you want to bring it somewhere. So we're getting this size. So I'm getting this pen. It's the Uniball Signal Pen. So it's very pigmented in black and I know that this lasts long because I use it for school and it's really nice for 73 pesos. So my budget is only 500 pesos. If you are worrying about the expense of buying these things, there's always a way to save. Manuel Boomerang. I found a set of highlighters. Here's the choice. And this one is a yellow one. So you're in Daiso. Everything is just 88 pesos. So look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 highlighters for only 88. <laughs> this is like a substitute for correction tape. If you're tired of the white correction tape, you can use this. It's like design. So this one's flags. So I'm gonna get it because it's cute. to stumble upon the food section of Daiso and since my budget is only 500 pesos I'm sacrificing this deco tape for food. Fish home, Alaska salmon dried fish snacks. Dried fish, dried fish. 88 plus 88 is 176. I have 320 left. So minus that. <laughs> I think it's the most essential part of journaling, so I'm gonna buy like more colors. <laughs> the most aesthetic brand brand ever. Okay, so I'm done shopping and now we're in the coffee bean and tea leaf. So what I got is a gray pen and a teal pen. Daiso. I got my fish snacks and six highlighters from National, the journal, and a black pen. We're going to start with the journaling. So first I'm going to show you what exactly journaling is. Journaling is writing down everything that you learn from the Bible or from church. Just putting it on paper so that you can remember everything and so that you can also reflect yourself about the things you're learning. For my personal routine, I write down the most important things that I remember from it. It's like a passage, a main passage, and then a whole explanation of what you can learn about God from it. So I read this and then I write in my journal the things that, that stroke, strike, struck, struck, that struck me. I've been journaling since 2016 and I already have four journals. So this is my third one. Don't forget to put your phone away because it can be a really big distraction while journaling. The method that I'm going to be teaching today is called the SOAP technique. So SOAP is an acronym. Um, S stands for scripture, O stands for observation, A stands for application, and P for prayer. So I'm going to be writing the scripture part first. There. So after writing it word for word from the Bible, I'm going to be highlighting the most important parts of the scripture. Then after that, we do the next letter, which is O for observation. I'm going to write down just of learning that I have observed. Okay, so I just finished writing down all of my observations about the scripture. It starts with explaining selfish ambition. So I realized that selfish ambition is wanting everything for your own benefit. So um, according to the scripture, we must do nothing for ourselves but instead focus on the well-being of other people. That means that we have to value others over ourselves. And we have to, to be able to do that is that we have to be able to make sacrifices for the people around us. Okay, so how do we value others over ourselves? 
So to be able to make sacrifices for others, we must have a genuine heart. So what Jesus did for us was that He reached the epitome of selflessness and sacrificed His own self for our salvation, even when we didn't deserve it. So whenever we feel that way about other people, um, we always have to remember that we did not deserve what Jesus did for us. So to do the same and to please the Lord, we must also love others how Jesus did. Application. So here is where I write certain action points that I will do like within the week or within the time period that I have based on what I learned from the passage. Um, I will think of how my actions will help others each moment. So, so that I won't have the tendency of being selfish, um, I will make it a point to um, remember how it is helping others and not only me. And then second one is to be more intentional in offering help, especially to my parents. So um, I noticed that I could still be more helpful to my parents and I want to be able to serve them because they have helped me in so many ways as well. And then the third one is to encourage others through my words more consistently. Helping others is not only through service, but then it could also be through words. So I believe that um, I should work on judging my friends more um, and letting them know that I appreciate them. And lastly, remember that everything I do is because God first loved me. So all of this will be pointless if I don't remember that God is the first one who did so much for me. And the only reason why I'm doing all of this is because I want to share His love to other people and so that other people will see um, Jesus reflected through my life. So lastly is P for prayer. And so what I do for this part, I don't write every single word, but then what I put is like bullet points of what exactly I want to thank God for, ask God for, based on what I learned. So this is my final output of the journaling, and I hope that you learned a lot from the method that I taught you guys, that you will be encouraged to read the word and to really apply what you learn about the Lord. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Save Radio for more videos. This is Mickey. See you in the next vlogs. Bye!